In our last episode, we discover a major fail with one of our safety systems, crash the drone, and pull our staysail out from the depths to test it in stormy conditions. Okay, so we've just taken a nice little stroll up the up the hill there at um, Border Island, and the view up here is just beautiful. We're not even at the top yet. Everywhere you look, there's just beautiful views. Oh yeah, we've got the uh, southern side of Border Island. Looks like it'll probably hold a nice little anchorage in here. Lovely. Darren had spotted Deloraine Island with its beautiful white sandy beach, looking just peachy on this stunning day. So we took off around the eastern side of Border Island for a 15 minute ride in the tender over to Deloraine. Deloraine Island sits to the north of the famous Whitehaven Beach. It's a tiny island with steep drop-offs, making it a challenging place for yachts to anchor, even in the most favourable conditions. The rewards are a beautiful reef for snorkelling and a quiet beach to chill upon. Well, we are at Deloraine Islet and we've been wanting to come here before we leave because it's just beautiful. It's the sandy little atoll or islet and actually the sand, it's a sandy corally sort of beach and it's this beautiful place just down, the, down from Whitehaven and it's got a lovely reef out there apparently that you can snorkel and it, that's all coral down that end there, which is really interesting. Just mounds and mounds of coral. It looks like sand from afar. We've got to come here on a sort of a dead pan kind of day because uh, it gets pretty rough out here. The drop off here, you can anchor in about 20 meters or 18 to 20 meters. So you've got to pick your days to come out here. Isn't it beautiful? Just gorgeous. Lovely long beach, beautiful area to swim. So I'm going to go and see if I can find some sand dollars. <laughs> Another lovely day in the Whit Sundays. How lucky are we? Woo. It's almost a sand dollar. Almost. They are lucky. <laughs> Beautiful. So much coral on this beach, it's amazing. That whole area over there, that's all a big coral stack. It's amazing. Oh, just checking this place out, it's beautiful. Look at that guy. 
Yeah. Yeah. Some, uh, I've never seen one like that before with the, the stripes on them. Normally they're all that, just, just that colour there. I find this really intriguing. This is actually a rock and it's got coral embedded into it. Same with this guy here. He's all embedded with coral. It's amazing. So you wonder if the coral came from the rock or the rock gathered the coral. There's a big lump of coral. He must have got thrown out of the water during the cyclone. Look at that, a beautiful gem amongst the coral debris. I wonder what he would have been when he was alive. On our way back we spotted some pretty cool rock structures and we had to take a look. Oh it's a cave. Amazing rock, isn't it? It is. Look at that, that one looks like it's just going to fall off anytime soon. That wouldn't be any good. <laughs> wow, look at that. I wish I could climb up there. Amazing. Ha <laughs> Early, early. Wow. <laughs> Incredible. The beautiful colours and the layers of the limestone. Amazing. Look at that one. Look at these rock structures. I think the colours are so pretty. Yeah. Oh, I wish I could see that one. Okay, we've been sitting here for a day or two and these caves are really intriguing us. We're going to see if we can climb up there. Should be a bit of an adventure. See what's inside. This looks like a piece of steel, but it's rock. Amazing. Rust, rusty old metal. Yeah. Oh. Anyway. Okay, what are you going to do? Go up there? Yeah. This would be a good little cave. Absolutely. What a lovely view from our little cave. Yeah. There's our girl.
dwelling in the caves. It'd be quite a nice, warm and secure place to be, with a great view. So we're going to climb up here, and oh, there he is, making his way around the top there. Crazy man, my husband, crazy man. discovered another super hidey hole. It's really trick here, it's beautiful. These beautiful limestone colours and and it's just kind of warm and eerie and a bit of a musty smell, a bit dank so there must be some water up the back somewhere. Looks like some uh, Gowana tracks. Another plate. Yeah. Layer between layer. It's incredible, isn't it? It is. What a place. All these things here are, are actually shells. And uh, I'm not sure how far we would be above sea level, but we would have to be. It would have to be 30 or 40 metres above sea level. Do you want to be a cave dweller, my honey? I am a cave dweller. You are a cave dweller. Are you a cave woman? I'm a cave woman. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> There's plenty of power around. <laughs> That's for sure. Someone's been eating lots of power up here. <laughs> oh, well, shall we go and find our way home? Righty yeah. All righty. Trek. Great little adventure, my honey. Yeah, no, it's pretty good. Really good. Good spot. Anyway. What's happening there, Maggie? You're flying. We are flying. Doing about eight knots. It's about 19 knots, sort of over there. We're flying!
so much for watching. We hope you enjoyed the video. Please give it the big thumbs up if you did. Remember to subscribe, share with your friends and colleagues and comment below. And to follow us on our daily adventures, check out our Facebook page. Until next time, have a great week.